Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here, back again with another exciting episode of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Switch. We are on live stream part number seven. Man, we've been playing this game. Two hour episodes, seventh time doing it, equates to about 14-ish hours? Pretty awesome. So if you guys missed our previous episode, go check it out. We did a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we just spent the entire episode capturing Pokemon. We spent the entire episode capturing Pokemon. It was really fun. Uh, we got a pretty cool brand new final evolution for our starter over here. Uh, and I'm just overall excited for today's episode. Before we get started, I do want to go over some things that uh, you guys may or may not know about. So let's just talk about it really quick. For starters, I do want to say shout outs to all of you guys that have become members on board. You guys are super awesome. So you take a look over here at my main channel page. If you guys can see this join button right over here on this main channel page, you guys can absolutely click on that to become a member. We succeeded and we hit our goal of 300, but the next emote that we're going to get uh, depends on whatever you guys want, but it's going to be at 350. So I think that's going to be our next goal that we're going to be aiming for. So you guys can see over here for 499, you can be part of the mushroom tier. You're going to get all these cool emotes, including the brand new Premier Ball emoji. Uh, we have the Fire Flower tier, which gives you early access to some videos via the community tab. We got the Lightning tier, which gives you a boosted chance of playing with me in online games, such as Pokemon Sword and Shield when we do some uh, Wi-Fi battles. And of course, we've got the Superstar VIP tier where we are going to have uh, an offering of an exclusive AMA where you guys can hang out and play some games with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be super fun. So anyway, click on that join button and uh, become a member today. Let's do it. All right. So second order of business. we got a lot of order of business that we got to talk about. Second thing is we are indeed doing a giveaway of a copy of the game, okay? So all you have to do is hit the like button, subscribe. You guys have already do that. And then stick around to the very end of the episode where I'm going to reveal the comment question of the day so that you guys can be all set with answering that in the comments. All right. Third rule. Well, I mean, third thing we're going to do is we are going to welcome Killer Plays to the Mushroom tier. Thanks so much for coming on board. All of you brand new members get... Uh, Pokemon named after you, which is super cool. And we had someone named Kari Temple uh, that just came on board as well. So we did Joey Carlos last time. We're going to do Kari. And we're also going to do Killer Plays with one uh, L13R uh, Plays. P1LAYZ. Cool. I think that's how you spell it. Hey, welcome to the new member. I love it when I'm in the middle of my member speech and then you guys just throw up that membership. That's really cool. All right, so other than that, new members get Pokemon named after them. We have so many awesome Pokemon that we've been just naming after everyone that's been coming on board and supporting your favorite YouTuber. So you guys can see Joey, Simon, Carlos, Griffin, Dork. All these Pokemon here are going to be named after different members uh, that have come on board. So there's Engerman, especially Engerman. All right, uh, yeah, so members get new Pokemon named after them. And then the last order of business is going to be spoilers. All right, guys, I have not seen anything... Uh, I haven't seen any spoilers for this game, okay? The game leaked, yes, it's unfortunate. A lot of people supported the leakers. And this game is just literally coming out today, and or yesterday. So, do me a favor, do not spoil anything in the game, and just welcome, uh, Sarity. Sarity? Sarity? I think I pronounced it right, welcome Sarity. But, you guys can welcome Sarity in the chat. But, I'm telling you guys, please don't spoil anything for me. Just don't. Please don't. And if you do, you're going to get banned from the stream. GG's. All right. Anyway, that's our little warning right there. You guys ready to play? Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go. You guys ready? Thumbs up in the chat if you guys are ready to play this game. I know I am. We didn't get any TMs in part six. We just got evolutions. So, uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Thumbs up. Okay. So, we got Sardi. S-A-R-T-I-E. Sorry T. Sorry T. I don't want to spell that incorrectly. S-A-R-I-T-I-E. Awesome. Welcome to the Mushroom tier. And Sorry T actually uh, came on board as a member during the Fire Flower tier, which is so cool. So I told you guys at the beginning of the previous episode that I would indeed catch a Cub Chew. So let's go catch a Cub Chew. All right, we're good. Okay, so this one's going to be named after Kari, if we catch it. If you survive a quick attack, a 45? No way, I can't. I'm, it's just not going to happen. I'm going to kick a rock at it, though, but, like, <laughs> it's level 45, I can't touch it. Boom! Kick him!
I mean, that was decent experience. I mean, it's not really the greatest experience, but we'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. Okay, next up, next up. Uh, I'm gonna try to do maybe another cub chew. Maybe these cub chew are little babies. Maybe one one's a smaller baby child. They're just very strong. I mean, the good thing about beating up these little baby cub chew is that I've got a move that's super effective against them and I could just grind these guys out. Even if they're at level 34, I can one shot them and just knock them with these little rocks and just pyro ball them. Boom. Dude. I'm telling you, that animation is the coolest animation. I cannot wait to take a look at the other signature moves for the other starters. That's gonna be really fun, by the way. All right, whoa, hold on, what was that? Wow! I didn't know Steelix flies. Did you guys know that Steelix flies? Holy moly! It's a strong looking Steelix, no doubt, but like, I didn't know Steelix flies. Like a, like a soaring dragon in the air, excuse me? Like, what is that? Yeah, Steelix is part flying type in the Galar region, apparently. Doink! Alright, he can take two of these. Sandstorm, alright, that's kind of cool. Good waste of a turn, for sure. Yeah, kind of like a Gyarados, right, right, right. That's kind, of, That's kind of what I was thinking. I really wanted to catch this guy, but, I mean, you guys know how this game plays. You can't catch Pokemon that are, like, super high level. Design choices, but you know what? Hey, those are the rules in the Galar region, man. What? Excuse me. I don't have time to take a dig. Oh, uh, someone's gotta take this hit. Uh, I don't have a flying type either. Uh, I don't have protect. I, I, I'm not gonna take this dig. So, who's my flying type over here? Sakura? Uh, Jolterion? Uh, Psychic Light Screen Struggle Bug? Light? Who's gonna do this work? Fake tears? Sucker punch? Um Alright, well, I know I'm not gonna take it, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw someone over here. Uh Jolterion, go! This is uh Impidim. In case you guys have not seen the previous episode, we caught this crazy looking dude. Survive! Sorry little guy, I mean I like my score bunny enough that I'm not going to allow him to die, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we gotta do, right? How in the world did it survive that? Maybe a max damage roll first turn, min damage roll next turn? That was kind of garbage, but whatever. Alright, I just need the experience for everyone besides Impidim. Wow, a thousand experience points. That's really good. That's like one of the experience candy smalls. So I'm cool with that. All right, so uh, as you guys can see on screen, we do have um, our new goal of emojis is going to be at 350, which is going to be super cool. If you guys can, if you guys are able to help out with that, awesome. That'd be great. I think I think we're going to do like some sort of score bunny emote. I don't know what fits in a square for score bunny, but I think that'll be pretty fun. That'll be pretty fun. Um, or if you guys have any other ideas, that's just a, a placeholder emote. So if you guys have any other ideas of what kind of emotes you guys would like to see, especially if you guys are members or members that are thinking of coming on board, then by all means, please let me know. Please let me know. All right, we hope to see you again. All right, I'm going away now. Okay, so now we can go over here. We can go check the map. We can warp out. And, oh, I can actually fly right back here. Check this out, Bridge Field. We're taking that flying taxi and then we're gonna make our way to the next town. And I'm, I'm ready for that. We spent all the time yesterday catching Pokemon. So, or not yesterday, the previous episode. So right now we are gonna run through this next spot. I think I'm in the right spot, aren't I? Dude, where's the map at? Oh, that's where we gotta go, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, things are gonna be looking pretty good. Berry trees, you know, I do need to stock up on berries. And there's three of them here, so one does not simply not shake a berry tree. Anyway, and it gives me an opportunity to look at you guys and say hi. So hi, hello. Hello, hi. What's going on? Pokemon Sword and Shield emote, that's interesting. How would that look like? Eight berries on the ground. Greppa berry, oh, and we got a citrus berry, I'm gonna quit. We're gonna take 11 berries and call it. Hello, hi. Hey, New Age, what's up, Biwa? What's up, Jay McLean? Killer Plays? Hi. What's up, Simon? 
Josh Hill. What's up, Zippy Zach? Zach? What's up, uh, Minnesota Jason? Hey. Yo, how's the weather in Minnesota? <clears throat> Is it cold? You guys getting a lot of snow? Nasty, man. Like, I'm loving it here in Chicago simply because I don't have to go outside. I don't have to go outside and deal with that nonsense. I get to play Pokemon with you guys. So, it's a beautiful thing. I get to play Pokemon with the coolest community in all of YouTube. All of you guys, seriously. <clears throat> How do I like Cinderace? Or Cinderachi, like I call him? Uh, I think he's really great. I think I love his design. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Oh, dang, come on. I thought I... Uh, I can catch this thing. Well, you big fat squirrel. You're level 26. I can absolutely catch him. All right, if you survive this quick attack, I'm going to catch you. Of course you're going to survive that. What are you spitting up? All right, well, I'm going to do this like three more times and then we're in. All right, so this one's uh, Kari. Kari is going to get this Greedent, which is a greedy rodent. That I just got smushed. No paralysis, thank goodness. Stop. I'm gonna get paralyzed, man. And I don't have too many paralyzed heals. Oh, I knew it. You punk. You punk. That's fine. Whatever here. Take a great ball. This is our gonna be this is gonna be our first catch for the day. I'm not gonna spend so much time catching Pokemon, but we are gonna knock it out because it's in front of us. Alright, deal, deal. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Oh, look at this thing, Greedent. Okay, greedy Pokemon. It stashes berries in its tail. So many berries that they fall out constantly, but this Pokemon is a bit slow-witted, so it doesn't notice the loss. <laughs> Pokedex updated, all right. Updated for what, recommendations? Why, why do I care about that? All right, Kari, brand new member that happened off screen. Uh, so thank you so much. And again, if you're a brand new member that did happen off, uh, to come on board off screen, please let me know. And I will absolutely, retroactively, get you a Pokemon named after you. Okay, no berries right now. Alright, that was great. So now I have this Pokemon on my team, which is light. That doesn't necessarily need to be on my team. So we are going to swap him. With someone that uh, needs even more experience. Like, we want to see more Galar evolutions, right? Alright, suggestions in the comments. Who do you guys want to see evolve on our team? Uh, I mean, we didn't see... I think we really looked at all of them, right? Every single one of these guys is, like, ready to go. Like, all of our Galars... I mean, there's Perserker. We have we have this Scorvanite. I mean, but we already know what he turns into. And I can catch a wild Scorvanite, right? Oh, Galarian Zigzagoon. You're right. Uh, I, should, I should catch a fresh one, though. That's a good idea. Let's let's do that. Let's go catch a fresh Galarian Zigzagoon, and then we might as well get it going, right? All right, where is my where is my Paralyze Heal? And I'm gonna restore some health. Okay. Well, Galarian Zigzagoon would be a good idea. I like that idea. But I don't remember where in this like wild area Galarian Zigzagoon's at. I would honestly catch a new one, rather than like raise up a level 7, like that doesn't make sense to me. So let's kind of look around, if I can find the zigzag- oh my gosh, yes! A Dynamax battle! Hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, Golet. Hold on, I need to go back, hold on, I think, I think the Zigzagoons are this way. Maractus? They have their own like habitats, and a Sigalyph, I don't know if he's catchable. There he is. Okay, we're catching a new one, and this one's going to be added to the team. It'll save me a lot of experience, uh, so let's do it. I hope it's like level 20-something. That'd be really cool. And I hope it can take a, uh, a quick attack. It's level 30. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Here, take it. Rest. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Go to bed. 
Go to bed, that's cool. You know what? I'm gonna give you another quick attack. And you're gonna be fine. And then now that you have the sleep status, your your capture rate is gonna be even better for me, so this is perfect. I'm lucky that he didn't have snore or sleep talk or something like that. Do you see how much experience I just saved right now just by catching this level 30 rather than trying to level up one from the beginning of the game? It's a beautiful thing. This is working out. It's coming things are coming up Millhouse over here. <laughs> All right, light, get off my team. No offense, light. All right, we're going to nickname this one. This one's going to be Killer Plays, man. That's right. That's actually a really good nickname for this dude. And look at me actually do your name like it is on YouTube. Taking the effort to do the ones and the capitals. Uh, I'm just going to call it Killer Play. How about that? We're gonna add it to the party. All right, party time! Okay, light, adios. And now we got a Zigzagoon on our team. Right? We're trying to get all these uh, Pokedex filled out, so. All right, so now we are gonna go and advance the story. I'm ready. My body is Reggie. So let's hit this. I see that gigantic pillar of light. You guys see it too. We need to go hit that. Oh, 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 oh. An Ultra Ball. Whoa, hey, an Ultra Ball. Great. That's great. All right, so how does one get over that way? Let me see if I can come this way here. Remember when the Braviary like swooped down on me? We're gonna go Ultra Dynamax that thing. Give me that Braviary. Give me that 50 Watts. <gasps> A Flygon! Oh my gosh! Oh, I love Flygon! Oh, it's very strong looking. Come on, I could just catch a Flygon out in the wild? Like, just chilling like that? Man, level 51. Come on. I'm glad I did not eat an earthquake. Outsped and then eat an earthquake. Yikes. What's that? Two coughings? Oh, it looked like a Galarian coughing. I don't know. I'm honestly curious how uh, Galarian coughing or Galarian wheezing is a thing. But I don't want to hear about it. Don't tell me about it in the comments. Giant's Mirror. All right, picking up everything along the way. We're going to go do a Dynamax. It's been a while. Oh, wait. Oh, Excadrill. Oh, no. Give me one. May I? May I have you? Excadrill. I may have you. Yes, I may. Uh... This is actually a bad matchup. Um, hmm, a very bad matchup. I don't want to use a double kick at super effective pyro ball. I'm gonna have to like quick attack and just eat a ground attack. I don't really want to switch into anyone. Yeah, I need to switch into someone. Rock slide, I'm gonna eat that. Oh man, that hurt. Oh, dead 50% off today. Yikes. Steals don't get buffeted by hail? No, they do. Okay, good. Yes. Mother may I. Ah, uh, who's going to do some work? Oh, you are. Yeah, you are absolutely going to do some work. Soccer has been pretty good for us. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, we had a member that came on board named Sakura. And we named this dude after Sakura. And this guy is real good, apparently. I guess we just came in to die, so... I gotta do like a little flame wheel or whatever fire rush it is. Flame charge. Can you just stop? And you got your attack boost? That's good enough for me. That's really good enough for me. Give me this extra drill, please. Red? No, very close. Getting lefties though. Here we go. May I have this Excadrill, please? Best Rapid Spinner? One of them? Come on! It's fine. You know why? Because his health is going to keep on going down and down and down. And then... Um, it's going to be better chances at catching it. I just need someone to take all these hits. And into red. 
almost into red. Okay, uh, let's do Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Here we go. Mickey the elephant. Mickey the Q-fent. Q-fent, right? Not very effective, but I am getting rocked by it. Well, here we go. The timer is ticking. The timer is ticking. Can we get this Excadrill? Oh, good. Okay. This is, uh, this is Sariti. I hope I pronounced that right. Sariti, are you here? Give me a, give me a hand raise emoji if you are here in the chat. Uh, one of our most brand new members, you guys can see over here, Sariti. <clears throat> Where are you? I see you. Give me a hand raise. Sariti, where are you? Oh, there we go. I see the Abdallah Smash emo. Thank you. Okay, Excadrill, Subterrane Pokemon. Uh, it's not uncommon for tunnels uh, that appear to have uh, formed naturally to actually be a result of Exc Excadrill. Rampant digging. Okay, that's great. Here we go. Sorry. T. Sarity. Sarity? I. I don't know. Forgive me. <laughs> you can give me the phonetic pronunciation in the chat if you'd like. But that's cool. We got a brand new rare Pokemon. So I'm. Oh! Come on! I don't want. I want all these Pokemon! I. What does not simply walk past a Diglett Dig, Diglett Dig, Trio, Trio, Trio? Come on, man. Alright, how about this? If you survive this flame charge, I will capture you. I know you're not going to. I'll get Doug Trio next time. I can get caught up over here catching all sorts of Pokemon. Like, I gotta go. I got work to do. Let's go find this um, Dynamax, Gigantamax thing. All right, anyway. Uh, I did notice that one of my Pokemon did die, uh, or at least they're knocked out, so I need to go wake them up, just so they get the experience points. It's a little unfortunate that fainted Pokemon don't get that experience, but... There is Dug Trio over here, man! Come on! Like, how do you... And... Oh, oh Wobbuffet. I don't care about Wobbuffet. Who's that? Who's that? Foxy? Pumpkaboo? Who else is here? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who in the world is that? Hold on, don't look at me. Is that the Pikachu? Is that the knockoff Pikachu this generation? What is that? Is that hangry mode? No, it's just stupid stuffle. All right, I'm out of here. You know what? Pokemon will always be there, but we need to do work. So let's go. Who's that, Tangela? Oh, Machoke, dang. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, no, 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 not yet. There's so many Pokemon, but we have story mode to continue on with. There's energy pouring out from the den. 300 watts. It's a Butterfree! Yay! I'm fine. We're not going to invite anyone. It's a two-star. So I'm going to do two-star. You guys ready for a Gigantamax? Can you guys hear Milo? Milo? Milo, come here. Alright. Wow. I'm going to throw... I'm gonna Gigantamax or Dynamax and we're gonna go Max Flare. Look at how much power this is. 140. On Butterfree. All right, try to keep up, you guys. <clears throat> Ball Guy 2020. <laughs> Spence, I'm telling you, man. Yo, dude, Ball Guy's the best guy. If there's any guy, It's ball guy for sure, man. Ball guy for president. <laughs> Thanks, Spencer. <laughs> Max Flair, kick it. Boom! Butterfree's DED, man. I didn't even need these other teammates. And good thing I didn't catch Butterfree earlier. Here, we're gonna catch it with a regular Pokeball. Wait, so if you can choose what Pokeball you can throw at the Pokemon, then that confirms that they can indeed break out? 
If they're on uh, Dynamax battles? That's probably it, I would say. It would be safe to say that. I haven't seen a Dynamax battle break out though yet, so we're doing pretty good. All right, hey, there's Butterfree. We got some, oh, experience medium candies. Wow, okay. And we got some small ones, this is good. Maybe the further off you go, or maybe the higher star rating, the better. Um, Butterfree, I'm gonna name this one after you, Spence. This is the Butterfree, named after you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Spencer the Butterfree, there you go. Enjoy. Bye bye, Butterfree, see ya, buddy. That's for you. Okay, so now I gain 300 again. Uh, no, I'm not going to. But this one has unlimited potential. Hold on, there's a purple one all the way over there. Guys, should we go do the purple one? It looks like our 24 hour timer just clocked. All right, should we go do purple one? Yay or nay? Wait, who the heck are these guys? Uh, ingredients. A tin of beans. Smoke poke tail? Uh, for 2,000 bucks? Yeah, heck yeah. Heck yeah, eating a Pokemon? Absolutely. I'll buy some brittle bone syndrome. <laughs> Let's get some brittle bones. And these are, dude, these are bones off of Pokemon. Or lost small children that Drifloon has, uh, taken away. Uh, we need that fresh Kareem. I buy some cre fresh cream. We're gonna buy some mixed mushrooms plus the bag, and then we're gonna buy a tin of beans. All right, so we bought a lot of cool stuff. What about you? What do you do? Oh, you got the watts, man. Uh, wishing piece, sludge wave. Oh my gosh, hydro pump. This guy. Ugh. All right, all right. What about you? Let me go into the town so I can warp to it, and then we're gonna go do that purple Dynamax thing. Ah, uh, Gym Challenger, allow me to check your Gym Badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, the Fire Badge. It's confirmed that you defeated these three Gym Leaders, including the leader of uh, Moto Stoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he can look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the Gym Badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Bead's gonna get beat up. That's what he is. All right, so let's do this. I need to see this guy really quick. He probably sells me something. Are you the digger, dude? Oh yeah, 100 watts? Yeah, let's go. I'll buy it. I'll bite. Five experience candies? All right, I guess. That's fine. Adios. Okay, so I want to come over here so that I can warp to it. Oh, dang. Do we get a new warp area? Make your way through the wild area to reach Hammerlock. Okay, we made it to Hammerlock. Let's do some Hammerlock hype in the chat. Alliteration. Am I right? Welcome to Hammerlock. Oh, man, we get to explore Hammerlock on this episode? I am pumped. Super pumped. It looks pretty good. The panning cameras, these shots, these little castles. A sword in that dragon's mouth or something? Alright, so can I warp here yet? That's the big question. Can I warp? How does one warp? Yes, someone can warp to Hammerlock. And I can go over here too. A Hammerlock Pokemon Center? It's all unlocked. So now we're gonna go over to the wild area. And I'm going to... We're gonna do that Dynamax 5 star or whatever it is. All right, where was it? Where was it? Load, load. Don't tell me because I left the area that it's gone now. That's unacceptable. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Was I supposed to just walk over there? Yo, what the heck? What are you doing here? Who are you? Yeah, let's go. Three pearls, that's money. I'll take it. Now disappear. Okay, where did my gigantic purple swirling aura go? Uh-oh. Is it 
there. Oh, it's probably in this area. Okay, well, let, let's see. A sandstorm is brewing. All right, interesting. Interesting weather. Can't really see past it. Leave, dog. And you're in the rain. Like, I can't deal with you in the rain. Let's go. Conk Elder, I want him, but we got work to do. Okay, so there's a red Dynamax. Where's a swirling purple one at? Who is this? Barboach? You're crazy. Why would I waste that on Barboach? Where's the evil swirling purple one? Is it just gone? How does this work? Dude, I'm feeling ripped off right now, man. Yeah, I know, Milo. It stinks. I don't see it. Hey! This guy, though. I always buy this guy's stuff. Experience candies, it's fine. It's just for Watts, man. You check two little empty things and you get all your Watts back, so it's worth it. Didn't touch you, but sure. Oh, dude, Salandit! I'll take a Salandit, that's cool. I mean, if you survive a quick attack, I'll take you, but if you don't, whatever. I need the female one. And this is a female one. Oh, that's really good. So, you survive a quick attack, get the female one. The female one of this uh, Pokemon is the only one that evolves for some reason. But that's pretty unique. I think that that's interesting too. Dozing off, I might be sleepy. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Wow. We're gonna play this game. Are we gonna play this game now? Because I don't want to play this game. Just get in the ball and let me get on my merry way. Why did I kick it? I meant to throw a Pokeball at it. Ah, missed click. Whatever, that's fine. I felt insulted, so I had to kick it in the mouth. All right, anyway, moving on. Rhyhorn, oh, dude, you know what? I can't. Oh, what, who are these? Quagsire, oh my gosh, so many cool Pokemon. We gotta come back and catch. I'm telling you, we're gonna catch them all. But I don't know where the swirling ominous purple beacon is, man. I don't know where it's at. Dr. J, what's up, dude? Dr. J, hello. Welcome, thank you for the uh, $20 super chat, man. It's awesome. An electric. Dr. J. All right, round of applause emotes for Dr. J. I accidentally ran into a chinchino. <laughs> Dr. J, that was a pretty bulky super chat. I'll name the next Pokemon I catch after you. Thank you. All right, I need to get out of here. I'm going to beat this guy up real quick because I got a super effective move. Dr. J. Yeah, maybe the cutscene or leaving the area refreshes the entirety of the purple auras or whatever. So maybe if I soft reset- Hey, hey, hey! I want this Pokemon. Trust me, I do. I just don't have time for him right now. Clink? Clank? Oh, dude, so many good Pokemon. No purples. Look, I'm all- Oh, there it is. What? What do you even mean? That's what we're trying to get. I'm just gonna go on foot, and it's gonna get. It's gonna be inside my my eye. My, ah! Almost hit. A, it's like hitting a skunk in the street. <gasps> Doublade? Oh my gosh! All these good Pokemon. Oh, dude, I love Doublade. Eviolite Doublade, though. That's my jam. All right, first person view. Check that out. First person. Yeah, I'm on a bike. Oh, oh no, dang. Let's go first person. Can I can I ride my bike in first person though? Uh, Serini? What? Oh 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 man! 
Bounce sweet? Like, I want these Pokemon. I do, but I gotta go. I gotta advance the story today. If you survive a quick attack... If you survive a quick attack, you get one Great Ball. That's decent. That's real decent. Alright, here you go. Alright, this is this could be Dr. J, man. This could absolutely be Dr. J. Oh, Bound Sweet. Thank you, I needed it. Look, it didn't take that long. It took like what, less than 60 seconds to catch this guy? If you survive my move, I you are deserving of a great ball. Alright. Bound Sweet. Fruit Pokemon. Gives off a sweet, fruity scent that is extremely appetizing to bird Pokemon. Alright, yeah, yeah, let's go. Dr. J. <clears throat> Dr. Space, capital J. That's for you, bud. Enjoy. Thanks for the super chat. Okay, moving on. I see that... I see the aura. It's still in my sights. Did I just miss it because of the sandstorm? Alright, one does not simply walk past one of these. Alright, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. No Pokemon, no Pokemon. No whammy, no whammy. Hey! Okay, so we found it. I think this should be like a five star. 300 watts. I'm sorry. What does this mean if it's shining like that? Is that a shiny Pokemon? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Should we do it? Yes or no in the comments. This might be our only one. Yes or no, let's go. I already have it. I already have Scorupi. Scorupi. Let's do it for science. If it's shiny, then that's super awesome. I don't know if it's shiny, but like... Maybe after you catch it, it'll be shiny? Or maybe it's just super powered up, like it's a very high level. Dang, Torkoal busting out the drought? Wow, thanks, man. How'd you know I was gonna use a fire attack? I don't think it's gonna be a shiny. I think that's way too easy for a shiny Pokemon to come on board, so... It's probably like really high leveled. And that'll mean that it'll be easy to evolve it into a Drapion, so... It's a one-star raid. It's kind of garbo, but that's okay. Bunnies. 700 foot tall. Okay. Good animation. We just squished the scorpion. And we are through. Okay, so for science, what are we going to do? I'm just going to catch this thing with a regular old Pokeball? Like, what's the deal? Maybe he's got better IVs. I don't know, better individual values. Based on hidden stats. I don't know, man. Fire Tornado. Yeah, that's exactly it. Fire Tornado. Uh, what was that guy's name? In Inazuma 11? The guy with, like, the Goku hair. That he got kicked off the team in, like, Season 2. Axel Blaze. I said it before you did. <laughs> I said it before you did. Alright. Dynamax candies, cool. Rare candy one, and some berries. What's so special? Is that a shiny coloration? No. I'm gonna nickname him Not Shiny. Uh, so what level was he? Level 16? I mean... Sniper? Maybe he had a hidden ability? I honestly, I don't have any answer for that, guys. Yeah, I don't have an answer. I don't know what that meant, but I'm getting out of here. We gotta go, man. I'm 40 minutes into into this, and like I have not advanced any story. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. We gotta explore this place, man. It's a new town. It's a new town. It's the town of Hammerlock. There's an effort ribbon giver, best friends ribbon giver, BP shop, boutique, hair salon, move tutor. There's so much. Oh my gosh. Hammerlock. And I want to explore this too. What's up, Luis? Luis Jimenez, what's going on, man? Luis, the next Pokemon is named after you, dude. Everyone, welcome Luis to the, to the uh, team here. Luis! Hashtag Luis in the comments. Easy, right? 
Okay, super cool. Super cool. Louie. Louie! Life with Louie here. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, do you have any more polka jobs? All right, Nurse Joy. Give me more polka jobs. Dang it, they're all out there doing their thing. Okay, polka jobs are done. I don't need any pokeballs, although that person looks a little suspicious. Did you know that the order in which you progress to the gym challenge is decided by how strong each gym leader is? Okay, typically, yeah. BP shop, okay. <gasps> Oh, man, don't talk to me about these things. Macho Brace, Destiny Knot. Wow, look. Look, BP Shop. Okay. So you get battle points from doing, like, the battle tree. So I'm curious as to, like, how the battle tree is going to work in this game. Dive Ball, Dusk Ball. Dusk Balls are really good. I should actually stock up on a few. Maybe, like, 10 Dust Balls? It's 10,000 bucks. No, maybe, like, 5. Dive balls are good. Timer ball would be pretty cool. Uh, I'll take a couple. I'll take five. 112 of them, sure. All right. And yeah, that was it. That's all you sell. What about you? You got to sell something new, right? Uh, it's just Pokeballs and Great Balls. All right. Great Balls, I think I got a lot of them. We're all set. So that's great. Uh, that's the name raider. You are. Uh, Raihan's uniform is 241. I can't help looking for that number when he uh, sees lockers and whatnot. All right, great. I feel bad for saying this, but I love watching Raihan lose to Leon. The way he shows his frustration is electrifying. Do you guys feel that way about me when, when I show my frustration? Is that electrifying for you to see? <laughs> hey there, Mr. Trainer. Have you edited your uh, your card at all? I have. Uh, okay, great. I have. A friend who told me he dresses up as a Pokemon and does Pokemon jobs, but it's not me. It's a friend. You know, it, clearly it's you, guy. Hey, guy. Okay, hiya, they call me Mr. Focus. I'm so focused and strong. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah? Okay, you have good focus. See the power of Mr. Focus. Black Belt Brian. You're bringing an NFE into battle. Okay, well, so much focus about that. Uh, oh, a level two. Wow, watch out. Watch out, if you survive this quick attack, I won't make fun of you. Oh my gosh! He's... Yo, he's using fear on me right now. Never mind, never mind, man. This guy's using fear on me. Wow, unbelievable. If he used quick attack, that would have been devastating. Ah, were you a bit surprised? I wasn't, but that's a pretty cool strat. There are many ways to battle, right? Okay, pass this focus ash onto you because you're so focused. All right. So uh, that was really interesting. Uh, what? What had happened was he had a level two Pokemon that has a Focus Sash, and when you hold on to the Focus Sash, you can survive on one HP, provided you get hit in, um, and you get knocked out, you get almost knocked out. And then you use the move Endeavor, which the move gives, uh, it does damage and uh, like mimics the amount of HP that you have to your opponent. So you make your opponent at one HP. It's a pretty cool strat. You can do it with a Rattata, you do the Rattata and have Quick Attack and then KO people with a level 1 Rattata. It's it's pretty cheeky, but um, yeah, it was, it was very interesting. So now I need to actually go heal my Pokemon because that guy got me to 1 HP. <laughs> so that was awesome. That was real good. That was real cool, by the way. I like that. And a focus, a focus sash is going to be a disposable item, so I wouldn't suggest putting it on your Pokemon yet. I would keep it in your bag until you're ready for a competitive Pokemon, so that you just don't waste it. I don't know, maybe you can buy another one in the game. Just don't waste it yet. It doesn't make sense to. All right, anyway, we got some work to do. We gotta go check out the shops. What's this, can I go in? Or is this just for show? Should I pay $3,000 for a new haircut? Oh, it's a battle place. Hey, we didn't go battle this dude in the other place. You can battle here once a day. Yeah, let's go.
We didn't battle the other guy in the other stadium. Motostoke Stadium. Slurpuff and All Creamy? Oh gosh. Well, this is an interesting doubles battle. Alright, well, I'm gonna do a big old Pyro Ball on All Creamy. And I guess you're gonna do something. Let's just allow you to counter. Just in case. If someone's aiming for you. Boom, fire tornado, all creamy, out. Did you survive? What just happened? Focus Sash, what do you got? Sturdy? Well, that's interesting. Uh, that's very interesting. I don't know how you did that, but we're going to use a, another Pyro Ball on uh, Slurpuff, apparently. I don't want to do that. Um, I guess I'm stomping all creamy. Wow, that is a bulky Pokemon. Oh, they're both rounding now. Oh, that's very bad. What's actually happening right now? Round in a doubles battles is insane. Well, I'm not getting any of that. Yeah, dude, you better learn Dig. Because I don't know how we're going to beat this guy up. Uh, Bulldoze. Dig is okay. Yeah, get rid of Bulldoze. We got to Dig, man. What's happening now? My bunny just got rocked by these stupid food items. Alright, well, here we go. Sakura, come on in, man. Let's go. I'm gonna go Ancient Power. It's the same type attack bonus. And we're gonna go Stomp. Helping Hand, who are you gonna help? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Wow, I got the 10% uh, boost to everything. That's pretty good. My ace in the hole is gone, but we're fine. Helping hand. <laughs> He's like, all right, I give up. We took out your bunny. I automatically win. Give you a helping hand, guy. Get out of here. I wanted that experience points. Bernard, you're a punk, dude. Thanks for the triple eight monies, though. Bernard. Oh, Bernard! Okay, okay. Yo, final Evo for uh, Carcoal. Carcoal, here it comes. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, Colossal. Uh, you know what? That's like a 9 out of 10 right there. That is real cool. They got the pun right with the name. The It looks like Agron. Got coal on his bag. That's really cool. Or should I say that's really coal? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. So this guy straight up kills people. Yo, you go over here and you destroy my mines, I am going to kill you literally. I'm gonna commit murder. And burn people alive? Oh my gosh, that's pretty deep for a Pokemon game, man. Uh, what's Tar Shot? Let's see what this move is. Tar Shot, rock move. It is, uh, hold on, hold on, I need to learn. It's a new move. Uh, this is going to be, the user pours Sticky Tar over the target, lowering the speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. 
Mm, you know what? That can work out with his typing. Uh, he, mm, yeah, get rid of Rapid Spin. I don't need a Rapid Spin right now. That's cool, man. Yeah, it looks a little bit about like Rhyperior. Yeah, I can see the rock plates and everything like that. Yeah, it's, I like him. I like him a lot. Okay, ele elegant as tea. And we got an old gateau. These are the uh, regional cookies, the regional snacks from all around the Pokemon globe. Oh, that was cool. Uh, I want an extra large size. Yeah, this reminds me of the, the bubble tea place that I go to all the time. All right, sister is quite the eater. Okay, what about you? Did you quit your job? I love Wobbuffet a little poke. Oh, you like giving him a little poke. The way it bounces back is so satisfying. That's disgusting. All right, what else? <laughs> uh, watching the gym leaders battle, make you want to have Pokemon of your own. How about you? Nice meal while watching the match. Okay, what about you? They say there's over 200 Pokemon abilities. Study them well. That's right. That's right. See, that's the thing about Pokemon competitive battle. You just got to know all the Pokemon's abilities. Uh, but right now, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And we need to swap out our, our coal guy. Oh, maybe he's got a new ability. I didn't really take a look at that. This is a real cool Pokemon. What was his ability? Steam Engine. Oh, it's the same thing. It's good. It's a good ability. Boosting up his speed when he gets hit by certain type attacks. Yeah, uh, that's great. I like this. Okay, who's gonna take our Torkoal's friend, Cole Colossal, Colossal? Who's gonna take his spot? Now that he's fully evolved, there's no sense in uh, actually doing that. So, who's gonna take his spot? We got Big Boy, uh, Bunnelby. Golet, I think we're all caught up. Honestly, I think we're we're caught up on Pokemon. Eldegoss is done. We need more Galarians, man. Stunfist doesn't evolve. All cream does all cream evolve, or is that pretty much it? Galvantula, I can catch Slurpuff. Um, you know, we can we can do Corvus Squire. This guy, yeah, let's do that. It's a Galarian team. We're all set. And this guy's, you know, I hate to put him in the box after he's like at level like 35, but we're here to see all the different Pokemon, so. Okay, here we go. Allow me to please continue on my journey of exploring this town. All right, so this is what? The barbershop? You got new haircuts? Can I save beforehand? I'm not gonna, I'm not about to throw a drop 3,000 bucks on a same haircut. So let's save the game. And I'll straight soft reset if you rip me off. Haircut or makeup? I mean, do you have new styles? I don't want to pay 3,000 bucks up front. You're kidding me. The same styles, man. Stupid. Can a guy just like actually get better cuts like sometimes my hair is this short i guess we're getting a caesar cut stupid rip off all right shave it all off go ahead donate it that looks pretty gangster man maybe i should do that with my hair what do you guys think the different the the layering right over here on the side <laughs> that's slick man no don't put that on my card it's just too short, man. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get that Ponyta, to be honest. I would name it after you, for sure. I don't think he's uh, in this version of the game. Uh, Noibet loves fruit. Cool, cool, cool. Been told Hammerlock's gym is right around over there. Great, good to know. Alola, Leon's uniform. The cape is too heavy. Okay. Am I able to go over here? All right, hey, another Pokemon Center. Wait a second, does this look familiar? No, it's just a new Pokemon Center. Two Pokemon Centers in the same kind of area. TM Shop, oh my gosh, I'm buying them, baby. Oh, I don't wanna buy them right now though. Fire Spin's okay, Bullet Seed's okay. Hmm. 
Brine, Fire Spin, Thief. I mean, there's a lot of TMs in this shop for sure, but like, I'm not about to go buy some. None of them are good. At least right now on my teams. I could buy them all out. I should just to have them, but I need my money for stuff. Okay, so two Pokemon centers. What's up? Heard that the gym mission of Stow on Side can make you really dizzy. Stow on Side. But brought plenty of chocolate for your hike. Okay. Gym challenge. I hear you're supposed to head to Stow on Side first. Next, Balani. Balanly. Sir Chester, Spike Muth, and finally to Hammerlock? What are you talking about? Are you just making up words? <laughs> okay, we agreed to meet the Pokemon Center, but I've been here a while and still no sign. Maybe we should go check the other Pokemon Centers. What do you mean, a hot date? Meet me at the Pokemon Center, baby. All right, here we go. Oh, a muscle band, that's cool. Uh, yes, boosting the power of physical moves. Hey, wow, it's a Pokemon battle. I choose you, squee, squishy, squishy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rhydon against Gastrodon. I'm at a disadvantage, but experience is on my side. Okay, dude, whatever you say. Toxel are so cool. I really want one. If you got a Toxel, please trade it for your Togepi. Babies versus babies. I should have caught that extra one. Ah, dude, and if I get a Togekiss, Serene Grace, Paraflinch hacks, are you kidding me? Uh, and I need permission to go into the vault. Dang, dude. I should go catch that other Toxel. Hey, you heard the rumor? Uh, I have not. What, you haven't heard? The rumor is that if you give the one you like an Appalin, you'll be together forever. Actually, the truth is there's someone I like. She's gonna move overseas pretty soon. I've been searching for an Appalin so I can get my feelings across the right way, but I can't find one. If you got an Appalin, would you please give it to me? Yeah, sure, if I had one. But maybe you should make sure you actually have one. Okay, well, maybe I can help the dude out, right? Oh my god, in the depths. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn are called battle combo moves. Uh, yeah, sure. Which Pokemon, sh Pokemon should learn my move? You. What are you learning? Like, Blaze? Something or other? Fire Pledge. Yeah, it's the Pledge moves. Alright, meh. No, not right now. So he, he gives you all the, uh, the starter... Uh, like, double battle moves, which are kind of cool. Alright, so I gotta find an Applin and give it to that guy. So someone remind me to do that. Can't you see we're practicing our chance here? You're not passing. You're not passing through here. Alright, there we go. Hand-holding again. That's cool. Whatever. Alright, so this area is a little bit of off-guards. Uh, yeah, off-limits. Can't really do anything that way. So we need to keep an eye that there's an Applin that I have to get. And... I can give it to him. And then I have an opportunity to get a Togepi, so if I see another of the Toxa baby, whatever his name is, I should be able to do that. Alright, so next up, we have this house. Okay, hey child. Uh, would you like me to see if your Pokemon are feeling friendly towards you? Yeah, sure. Uh, talk to me about Score Bunny. Cinderachi. Alright, Cinderachi, you get along great. Together is always better. All right, good job. And you're the mom, I guess. Oh, dang, best efforts. Oh, yeah, EV training. That's right, you're the effort ribbon lady. Yeah, looks like I can still give a bit more. All right, well, that's interesting. Hey, little guy. You and your Pokemon have the potential to be great friends. If you, oh, dang, hold on, hold on. What's this item? Soothe Bell, in before Soothe Bell. Got a little bit of that Pokemon knowledge, am I right? All right, so a Soothe Bell, if you have a Pokemon that evolves via, like, friendship, you get them the Soothe Bell, and they'll get double the friendship points whenever you level them up, battle with them, etc., etc. So you go trade that Toxic Baby for the Togepi. You give the Togepi the Soothe Bell, and then you evolve him. Oh, my gosh. It's so perfect how they work that out. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Soothe Bell, give me that. Dire hit. Sell that for money. Alright, what's up? Okay, blood boil when you lose a battle. Oh, knock knock! Here we go! Copy paste! Get the copy pasta of these houses. Alright, so which one's a ditto? I raise and live with Rookity just because I love them so much. I've got no I've got nothing to do with the flying taxis. Okay, I don't honestly care about your things. I care about these two portraits on the walls. All of the portraits... Wow, okay, they sing. That's great. I want to look at all the portraits on the walls. You know why I want to look at them? Because they're copy-pasted into this house here. 
Hello there, young man. Are you interested in weather? Yeah, whether or not you can stop copy-pasting these portraits on the walls. Ah, well, let me get started then. Dude, I know all about weather. I thought you were gonna get... Give me something. Oh, well, you did. Thanks. Heat rock. Cool. Heat rock is an item that you can uh, extend the sunny day for uh, eight turns? Ten turns? Something like that. Thanks. I kind of want light clay, though. That's a little bit better. <laughs> hey, this guy. Yo, what's up, dude? That old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves and remember them and all that stuff. Thanks, dude. Yeah, whatever. You! I, uh, we all know that the Dragon's Guard treasure, it's definitely fitting that Raihan is the guardian of the vault. Okay, cool. Hello, that's a bird. You should really visit the Winden sometime. People all over the world gather there. Alright, I'll work on it. That is the train station. I wonder if there's something special about people who find wishing stars. Once I become a champion, I'm going to gather all the wishing stars in the world and give them to you. I won't hold my breath, kid. All of them in the world. I hope my friend gets here soon. I think P-Dub is aiming for my food. That's Enjamin right there. Enjamin aims for my food all the time. Life is all about restaurant hopping. It's true. I'm going to eat at all the restaurants along the Gala Railway until I drop. That is a good plan. Can I be your partner with that? Today's meal is even better than yesterday's. All right, well, how come I can't order it then? Why can't I have the meal? Wait, what about P-Dub droppings? Uh, okay. Welcome to Pokemart. Like, how come I can't have a meal? Why can't I buy like a little, uh, like a snack? And then I can give it to my Pokemon. Oh, hey, the Pokemon journal. Should I pick up the, I should pick up the latest edition. Oh, we need some more lemonades. Yeah, I don't need fresh water. That's a misclick. <laughs> That's fine. I'll tell you, it's like 50. Uh, thank you, may I have another? I want lemonade. Lemonade is a budget-friendly, better super potion. So it's like a, 150 less polka dollars and it heals a little bit more than super potions. At least I think. All right, I'm done. Okay, so we got the train station over here. Kind of cool. You can take the train wherever you want to go. Uh, but all, other than that, I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We got more things to explore in Hammerlock. You fools. Don't talk to me about Marnie. Up the stairs with your bike, boy. Good job. Hey, hey. Strawberry sweet. Hey, that's another strawberry, uh, an evolution item. They say that Galar region has lots of old buildings. Yes, they do. I've heard the Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things in their dens. Uh, there's apparently even odd Pokemon that collect TRs. Whoa. Well, I need, I need all the TRs in my life. Let me in. A rare candy on the ground. Cool. How about you? Hello there. You look like someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy, and I, uh, I've written him a love letter. Do you think he'd deliver it for you? Yeah. Don't tell me it's the guy at the Pokemon Center. My name's Paula. There you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. You're a small child. Deliver to a boy. Strangely, strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver to Frank for me, won't you? Frank in Baloney. Baloney. That's who you want. All right, well, I'll hold on to it. We don't have access to Baloney yet, so. A pair of wise glasses. Okay, boosting uh, special moves. Cool, wise glasses. Guys, I don't know where I'm going now. I thought I thought we got, we went everywhere. Let me see. Meet Chairman Rose at the Hammerlock Stadium. Jasmine, hey, if you find a beautiful pink ponyta, I want it named after me. I will, I promise I will. You got it, thank you. All right, oh, uh, here, we gotta go up front. This is where we wanted to go. It's the chairman. Thanks for the donation. I will absolutely name it. I don't know if I'm gonna get one in this game, though. I think it's exclusive to S.H.I.E.L.D. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bede. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, uh, it's, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Gala region. And we need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. 
I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's a spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger bead. There is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? You know, there's something I like about his incognito mode. I don't know if it's the short shorts that are like completely riding up his thighs or if it's his like dad belly. <laughs> this guy's like a dad bod over here. This is honestly what I'm wearing off screen over here. If I stood up, you'd see me in uh, green boxers. Like, I'm just kidding. I hope you were listening, Abdallah. Uh, as you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are uh, even attached to your Dynamax band. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Gala region gets its energy. Those short shorts, man. What is he doing? There's small children around. I like my curry sweet, but then my father adds too much bitter seasoning. All right, well, uh, Chairman Rose uh, once participated in the Champion Cup. He really took off after the semifinals. Cool. Have you visited Hammerlock Stadium? It's super rugged. Cool. I'm on my way. Hello everyone, it's me, Oleana. Can you open your eyes all the way for me, please? Uh, Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. <laughs> cool, see, it's an easy to understand description of the energy plant. Well, for starters, I can't read your gibberish. First, energy is absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Abdallah, I suggest you head on over to the vault next. Okay, Route 6 of the stadium, you should find the vault without any issues. Oh, I know exactly where that's at. <gasps> Do my eyes deceive me? Do my eyes deceive me? Who's that in the back? Let's get some hype in the chat for our resident favorite NPC. Let's go. You guys can absolutely use the uh, Premiere Ball to signify your hype for the upcoming character. Who is that? It's this girl! Hey, we were all looking for her! Oh man. No, I'm kidding, it was this blonde girl. No, dude, it's Ball Guy. Ball Man? <laughs> it's Ball Guy. <laughs> he's not a man, he's a guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy! It looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect ball to celebrate the occasion. Let's have a ball! It's a level ball. Alright, you Ball Guy. You big ball. Oh, who are you looking for? Me? I'm right here, dude. I'm right here. I'm right in front of you. I'm right here, ball guy. You guys looking for everyone in the chat? Yo, ball guy. All right. Ball guy's actually looking for all the members in the chat to use the new Premier Ball emote. He's looking. I don't think he's found all of you guys using that yet. Momo knows what's up. H. Fenton knows what's up. Fluffy, Jen Bella, Jasmine, Puffton. Come on, let's go. Yo, ball guy. I want to see the, the ball guy dance. What was the ball guy dance? Like skiing? Remember? <laughs> oh, come on, dance! Ball guy, dance, monkey! Aw, oh, come on. Don't look at me. What you looking for? You ball -n guy? How about you? Okay, seven. Oh, he's a dragon type. Oh no, he's dragon type? Guys, I don't have an ice type. I don't have an ice type that's gonna do this. Um... I want my hair back. He's a dragon type trainer and I'm like over here with a fire type Pokemon expecting to do some work. How? Um, guys? Ooh, did I? I, I could have sworn I caught some, uh, like a Glalie or something. 
that can help me out with this, uh, Cinderachi. I'm in a little bit of conundrum here. Did I not? I got a Deli Bird. Can Deli Bird do work? It's 26. Uh, we need to go catch some ice Pokemon. Or I've got some fairies, right? You're a fairy, but you're level 13. Fairies are real good against dragon type. Um, so who else is on my team? Oh, Impidimp, are you fairy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Impidimp fairy? Oh, dang, yeah, yeah, Impidimp. I need you to learn a fairy move though. Because uh, Impidimp might be our, uh, our ace in the hole here. He needs to learn a fairy move though. What's his problem? Fairy dark. Head to the vault next. I know where the vault's at. Ah, uh, I don't know, guys. I do have the ice cream cone Pokemon, but I think fairy is better than dragon. Or is better than ice, I'm sorry. Abdallah, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me, one look at me, and was immediately like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It must be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything. I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battle. He lost a bead. He got beat up. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps, but there's uh, nowhere left to go but back up. Uh, you got to think on why it was that you lost, though. You know, that little brother of mine. I think he might yet become surprisingly uh, a great trainer. Blast, look at the time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oleana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go say hello to Raihan while you're here. He's the greatest rival I've got in the final hurdle you have to face in the gym challenge. He should be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way. I'm worried, man. I don't think Impidim's gonna do work, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna try to do some work with Score Bunny. He still has double kick, which can indeed work, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Okay, hey dude. Oh, that's Raihan. Interesting. If it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion, let's see. What was your name again? You remember me forever. Right, Abdallah. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, uh, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty Raihan has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. Um, I knew that. So you're here to see our treasures. Yeah, gaining a better understanding of the Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me. Why don't you? I like his hoodie. Oh, cool. I like his trophy case, too. I'll even spare you one of my league cards. Here you go. Alright, that's great. Oh, there's that guy. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. I'm here to look at your trophies, though. How can I not press the A button for flavor text on the trophies? Come on, man. Like, let's go. You need permission if you want to enter the vault. I have permission. Who's here? Who are you? Hi. Hammerlock used to be the very center of the Galar region. Okay. H historical treasures. Okay. So this is like the, uh, like the Pewter City little museum. Maybe. I don't know, man. I just want a little bit more polish on this game. Can you blame a guy? All right, here we go. Beautiful. TM29 Charm. Uh, charm's good. That what? Lowers, uh, lower attack? Yeah, harshly lowering the target's attack stat. I don't know how Imp Impidimp's gonna do this work. I'm just thinking about it. I have to bring Impidimp into this dragon battle. Oh, hello there, Sonya. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's a. Uh, it's great that there are still treasured tapestries, tapestries, that can tell us of Galar's history. Hmm. Two youths watching a wishing star. Disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. And the youths being crowned. Okay, they tell the story of the creation of the kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you about uh, them? Uh, I think there's two heroes? Yeah, maybe. Bang on! 
Bang on! The statue that the hotel and Monastoke only had one hero. No matter how you slice it, but here we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off of you. I think I got some theories now. I'm gonna research the tapestries a, uh, a tad more. But you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Two revives, okay, thanks. What are you trying to say? Why don't you give me some rare candy? What are you trying to say, lady? That my Pokemon are gonna die? Okay, so you're giving me flavor text on this, which is cool. Typically, the scene with a disaster occurs, okay, and they're left bewildered. This is uh, looking onto the sword and shield in the middle of the air, and then they're being crowned. Okay, that's pretty interesting. All right, well, kind of cool. Learn a little bit more about the city here and the town. Galar Realm. Galar Realm. Okay, the tapestries in the vault predict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we've got any modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up, Abdallah. Your goal is to defeat that superstar, Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on side. How and why? Well, I need Impidimp to learn a fairy type move, so we're going to do this. Who are you? Jolterion? You need to step it up, dude. So, I'm going to give him some stuff. We're going to juice this little guy up. He's going to be my my saving grace against this guy here. Um, so, let's just give him some candy, shall we? Here we go. Medium. Use this. For you. Two of them. 6,000. Two levels? That's pretty good. Yeah! 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 Okay, what is this little guy gonna turn into? And you better keep your fairy typing, you little child. Alright, this is Impidimp. First ev uh, evolution. I've not seen it. Or maybe I have seen it. I don't know what the heck that is. I don't know about that, man. String bean. Legs. Emo haircut, uh, ugh. all right. What is his name? I'm sorry, more, more what? Morgrim? Morgrim? Dark fairy. Okay, when it gets down on all fours, as if to beg for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so that it can stab them with its spear-like hair? Oh my gosh, yow. All right, well, uh, that's something. Fairy type move, please, beat up. False Surrender? What is this move? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Better be Fairy type. False Surrender. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on. What? False Surrender? The user pretends to bow its head and then stabs the target with a with its disheveled hair. This attack never misses. I mean, it's just 80 power dark type attack. Assurance is if the target's already taken damage in the same turn, the attack power is doubled. And then Fake Tears, Swagger, Sucker Punch... I mean, I like all these moves, but False Surrender is pretty cool. And what's his speed stat? 58? I think I don't think I'm going to take damage, so Assurance can go away. False Surrender sounds pretty cool, right? But I need a Fairy-type move. You need the same type attack bonus. How am I going to beat the dragons? How am I going to beat the dragons with this guy? False Surrender, False Surrender. Why are you waving? I am. Everyone knows that Route 6 uh, leads on to a good old town. Okay, I think Route 6 is this way. I'm going to double check my map. Pokemon. Jolterion. You think maybe he has uh, a move? You think he's got a move on move surrender? Or was that move tutor? I'll go take a look. I'll go take a look. Maybe he might have something. If he's got like, um, what is it? What's that uh, like pummeling attack that's fairy type? Play rough? If he's got play rough, then that would be amazing. He would be my ace in the hole against these dragons. Let's go take a look at the move relearner. Oh, so hold on. Your guy? This isn't the next... Oh, this isn't the next badge, isn't it? All right, remember move. Let's see. No, 
No, that's it. Okay, I mean, he doesn't really have anything. Oh, we, we got some time. Whatever. Alright, let's move on. We have, uh, we've got some time. We've got some time to uh, do some work. I don't know if Rehan's gonna be the next guy, but we will find out and see. What's going over here in Stowside? Stow on side. Route 6, we gotta conquer it. Go slow, there's stuff on the bridge, typically, maybe not. What is this ugly thing? Ew. The heck is that? It's an old grandma snake? What a cute silicobra. Silicobra? Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. <laughs> Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'd be our pleasure. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, hey, Abdallah, you're heading to Stow on side, right? Oh, hey, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, no, you kids are way too loud, can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silicobra is sure to wake up. Right. Uh, what do you say, Abdallah? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge. Okay, let's battle them. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra now, do you? I swear, kids these days, we'll have no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. I don't... Alright, whatever, dude. Team Yell is trying to protect a Pokemon that's sleeping. Great. These guys are such a joke. Uh, false Surrender, Swagger, Fake Tears. I guess I'm gonna Swagger him out. Oh, I didn't even see what his ability is. Oh, I didn't see his ability. Ouch. Not. Uh, Sucker Punch, Fake Tears. I mean, there's really nothing. His moveset's trash. We're gonna go back to uh, Cinderace, Cinderachi. Hit yourself, please. Really? Dude, none of my Pokemon have been poisoned up to this point in the game, and you're gonna be the first? All right. Uh, well, enjoy a Flame Charge. 10 levels higher. Sucker Punch. Faint? Oh, Protect, okay. Wait, that's not Faint. What, how did you do that faster than me? How did you outspeed and use Faint? Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. I'm like, there's no way you can outspeed me. This nasty poison, though. Alright, what do we got? We are gonna get uh, a Lanoon. Alright, we'll take on Lanoon. Galarian Lanoon. He's easy. This is gonna be an easy peasy hit. Big one. And you're done. Oh, you know who I didn't put on my team? Oh no, I did put him on my team. Yeah, Killer plays there. I thought I didn't have a, a Lanoon on my team for a second there. Okay, no, we're fine. Let's go. Good job. GG's. Blimey, even your battles are too noisy. Blimey. Okay, I think I'll leave this to you, Abdallah. Keep up the pace. What? Another battle? Okay. Uh, we're gonna battle the girl this time. Team Yell Grunt with Leapard. This guy looks weird, man. I don't know. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do another swagger just in case. It didn't work out last time. Assurance is not very effective. But Dark Fairy, Dark Fairy is a really cool typing. I would really like to see the uh, the, the full type chart about resistances and everything like that, just to see if there's anything crazy. All right. All right, here's hoping that that swagger will allow you to be confused and hit yourself, and we should be all set. Dang, not good. 
Accuracy. Accuracy drops. Stop thinking about camping. Why? Why is he thinking about camping? Dude, I, I missed the double kick. Dead. Stop. Dead. Stop. Wow. Goner. All right, who's coming? Uh, we got uh, you. We got Mickey. Yeah, Mickey's my, my only hope now. Like, I lost my guy because I got a four hit. And you didn't get the confusion hacks. Not bad. But where's the confusion hacks? Not a single time. Come on, elephant. Don't miss. Good, good, good. Look at that elephant putting in that work. Good job. Okay, we should see an, we should see an evolution right now. Ah, oh, why'd you have to be such a bother? There we go. Yeah, show it to me. We've already seen this, but uh, this is the Zigzagoon turning into the Galarian Lanoon. Which looks like a, a rocker from a, a band that may not be named. I don't know. There's Lanoon. All right. It uses its long tongue to taunt opponents. Once the opposition is enraged, as Pokemon hurls itself at the opponent, tackling them forcefully. Night Slash. Yeah, we'll take Night Slash. That's cool. That's a good move. Uh, it's better than Scary Face. I'll keep rest in case I need it. I don't know. But yeah, cool evolution hype. I like that. I like the design. I really do. 9 out of 10. It's a very good design. Okay. Ah, uh, Silicobra might wake up after all that ruckus. And there's no point of us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler uh, some other day. You and Morgrim were brilliant together. See... Uh, Bead really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss, but battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to uh, take some time... Figuring this out. See you around, Abdallah. That's true, man. What the heck is this thing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Just throw a Pokeball at it, dude. Like, you don't have that Pokemon. Just throw it. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? The Queen! <laughs> My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. Just try not to look at her nose the whole time. You got to like you got to keep eye contact up here. Eyes up here, guys, not here. Eyes up here. Not here. <laughs> the queen. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. <laughs> I mean, is that not the queen of the Gala region? Am I, uh... Am I sadly mistaken? <laughs> Your majesty. <laughs> yeah, right? You wonder if Opal has two Yampers. That would be awesome, right? That would be pretty, um... Pretty accurate. What a concept. What a concept. Opal! Oh man, okay, so we are an hour and a half in and I haven't even seen where the next gym is other than the gym that's uh, right in front of us over here. So I'm kind of worried that we might not get to this gym. I'm kind of worried, but let's see where the pacing of the game goes. We Ring, 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 ring. 
head on to Sto- Oh, well, I mean, there's a stadium right over here after Route 6, so we might be able to do it. 30 minutes, let's go. Just don't catch anything. Just don't battle any- Ah! Let me just sneak past you. Oh, come on! My Super Cube Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Are you sure it's your Pokemon that's interested? Beauty Anita. I got a new haircut. It's pretty slick. Got a fresh cut. Uh-oh. This is not a good typing for me. I better get out of here. With the sunlight being harsh? Oh, thank you. Metronome. Oh, self-destruct. Payday. Oh, what? Don't take my money. I'm taking your money. All right, you little Clefairy. All right, get kicked. Boom. That hurts so much. I'm so glad that move is so cool looking. It's really amazing. It wants to learn Taunt. No, we're not going to do that. Clefable. Clefable. Dang. Even bulky Clefable could not take that hit. Oh. Your Pokemon are way too strong. You'll be safe no matter where you go. Thanks. So even the- okay. No, no, you mask. I don't want to- oh, well, it's a Galarian, you mask. And there's the snake, so there's your silly cobra. I mean, one doesn't walk away from a silly cobra. How about this? If you survive a false surrender, I'm going to catch you. You can survive two false surrenders. Sand spit, excuse me? Oh, great. Paralysis. Excellent. Excellent. False surrender. And I'm getting sandstormed. This guy's uh, pretty interesting. Here's another false. Para flinch. I cannot believe my life right now. All right. All right, Dunsparce. Dude, come on, min max down. Oh, crit. Crit. All right, Dunsparce. Man. I'll find that guy later. We gotta continue on. We gotta go, man. Okay, bag. Uh, we're gonna do uh, a paralyzed heal. Yes. And we're gonna do a super potion. That's a Galarian you mask. We have to show it. We have to show it because if that thing turns into a, a Galarian Cough Egregious, that would be awesome. And I have no clue. This is actually real cute. Uh, I'm going to do a false surrender. If you survive it, I'm going to catch you. There we go. Wandering Spirit. Wait, wait, we just swapped abilities? That's cool. And mean look, I'm not going anywhere. Yikes, so you swap, oh, you swap abilities, huh? All right, oh, that's interesting. Galarian, you mask. All right, we're gonna add it to the team. That's gonna be the next in line as far as uh, different Pokemon that we may need. You know, I honestly like Impidimp's evolution. I think the typing is just super cool. Galarian form, Yamask. A clay slab with cursed engravings took possession of a Yamask. The slab is said to be absorbing the Yamask's dark power. Whoa. Okay, 
That's awesome. Uh, this is for you, Lewis. I didn't forget about you. Lewis. Lewis, are you still here? Let me know. Give me a hand wave. Hand wave emote. Louis. All right, that was cool, Louis. Uh, I did see the snake over there. I just need to get out of this area. I'm not in the mood to explore this area now. I want to go find... I'll find the Pokeballs, but I don't really want to catch all the Pokemon. Nope. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, give me that. I'm I'm here for TMs. Ah, it's a snake again. Halucha. All right, I do like Halucha. All right, Louis is here. Excellent. Good job, Louis. All right, I need to get out of here, though, because if Halucha gets wind, that I'm a dark... No, I mean, it's neutral damage. Here you go. Check this out. No, I'm not. Uh, Pokemon, let's go Cinderachi. And we're going to do it. I do like Halucha. I'm going to give him the benefit of a doubt of if he's able to survive a quick attack. And I will catch him. Recoil damage. Okay, that's fine. Survive a quick attack and you're mine. I really like Halucha. What is he from? X and Y? Bounce? Oh, he's out of here. Okay. Uh, I don't have a protect or a boosting move, so... Can I just throw a Pokeball? What happens if I throw a Pokeball while someone's in the air? Science? Should we, should we do it for science? Ah, it's impossible to aim <laughs> when he's not in sight. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna use a uh, quick attack. Imagine like throwing a Pokeball all the way up in the air. Okay, here we go. Great ball. Give me a critical capture. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was it. You guys saw that, right? I said, give me a critical capture. And that was the critical capture. Weird. How does that even happen? Ask and you shall receive? What? Weird. Uh, Mickey's leveling up. Jolterion. I don't know. Is, um, is Impidimps Evo? Is he done evolving? He just has the stage two. And you guys know. That would be an actual question I'm asking. Speaking of Evo, this guy's done evolving too. Dotler. Impetive has one more Evo. Cool, cool. I'll keep him on my team until then. Whoa, hey, that's cool. It's a Ladypug. Or Beetle. He looks like, Je um, what is that? Kind of looks like a little bit of Genesect mixed with an, um, a little Ladybug. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. I'm very pleasantly surprised at this. Yes, or Beetle. Bug Psychic, famous for its high level intelligence, uh, large brain, uh, is proof that it has immense psychic power. All right, dude, that's really cool. And we got a Halucha, wrestling Pokemon. It drives the Pokemon uh, opponents to exhaustion with its agile maneuvers, then ends the fight with a flashy finishing move. Dude. Man, way better than Lediba and Ledian. I want to see what his ability is before we swap him out. Or Beetle. Check summary. Swarm. Okay, so boosts uh, the power up bug type moves when the Pokemon's HP is low. Eh, I mean, that's okay. It's, it's situational, and I don't like situational abilities like that. But we did get a new Pokemon. Right? Who was he? I'm sorry, who the heck did we just get? Someone remind me in the comments. Didn't we just get a new Pokemon that I said? It was your mask. Yeah, yeah, a mask, your mask. Where the heck did you go? Oh, here you are. All right, later, Orbeetle. Okay, cool, right? Excited, excited. Uh, let's continue on. We got a pretty cool evolution there. I need to get that in my life right now. And I don't want to go fishing, but I need to like make my way up the mountain and then back down. I have a repel, right? Can I use a repel? I'll just dodge him. Or not. Don't. Double battle? Okay. We need good Pokemon. Uh, you are going to go here, and I need to restore you with a super potion. 
Good, and now we fight. Both of us together, hand in hand, side by side, we knock out these two fools. It's the professor. Battling is important to understand Pokemon better. All right, time for a checkup. What are you, Dr. Madaman? And why are you bent over 90 degrees? Medical team? Togetic, cute. Okay, so I'll take care of Pawniard. Um, I guess... I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, so I guess what I really want to find out, and please, if you have the answer, let me know. Why is my, why is my bunny shaking at the beginning? And why are there little, like, flavor texts that come up afterwards? Like, I don't understand that. Is it a new mechanic I'm missing here? He shakes every time he jumps into battle. I don't know what that means. No, I didn't catch an apple yet. No, I still have to find said apple. Fourteen thousand bucks for that, though. Some good money. Okay, so here's another trainer. This place is a maze, isn't it? Uh, well, I mean, I can skip you. And there's a camper. And a TM. I'm just gonna get the TM. It, yeah, it can't be a trap. Give me this. Dig. TM15 dig. Alright, not too bad. TM15 dig. Uh, cool, dig's good. We like the ground type move. I don't need to go camping, but I do want to explore. What is that? What is she holding there? It looked like a robot. Don't tell me you're making a robot Pokemon now. Who's in here? Oh, that's a stupid snake. Is it? It's a Doug Trio? Come on, man. Oh, I mean, I don't have Doug Trio, so I guess if I, um... If you survive the false surrender, I'll attempt to catch you. Impidimp is a cool-looking Pokemon. You know what? He's growing on me a little bit. I'm not gonna Sucker Punch, but I'm gonna toss the Great Ball. Got him. Easy. I still don't have Diglett though, so I gotta go find myself a little Diglett somewhere. Okay, mole Pokemon. Alright, Diglett triplets. That triggers huge earthquakes burrowing 60 miles underground. Cool. What am I doing? No, we're not swapping. No, 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 no. Go back into the box. All right, Diglett's in the box. This is fine. Let's uh, let's move on out. And we got a light clay. Hey, remember we talked about light clay? That uh, extends out your reflex and uh, light screens. Good, good dodge. So I dodged out of the way. Didn't have to fight that lady. I don't know who this is, but I don't want to fight you either. But there is an item over here, so I need that in my life. Two rare bones. Ah uh, no! <laughs> Uh, a model who is also strong in battle. That's who I am. All right, Nicola. I love the I love the lipstick. I love the eyeliner. Looking pretty good. That's pretty sharp, and it matches your coat too. My goodness. All right, so we got Dark v Dark over here. Dark's not really gonna do anything, so we gotta we gotta do some work. All right, cool, man.
Hone Claws. All right, well, I'm just going to use my, uh, <sighs> my fire attack, and we should be good. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, I gotta... We gotta go fight this boss, dude. We're at 144 in this live stream. We've been doing everything around two hours, man. Like, let's go. Pawniard. No, I'm not switching. We're good. You're real good at battling. Boom! Big old soccer kick. I'm surprised, like, this little Pawniard guy didn't just go flying back. Like, in a real Pokemon battle. Alright, Model Nicole, how much money do you have? You got that model money, right? 7,000? That's good. Oh, gosh. Battles that I don't want to be a part of. I think this is the way down to that TM, am I right? Or the, uh... <laughs> Can I just walk down here? Do I jump down here? There we go. There we go. Don't look at me. Look over there. Thank you. There we go. TM30 Steel Wing. These are garbage TMs, man. Okay, TM30 Steel Wing. And there's no other way I can get down here. Oh, I gotta go all the way up. And then back around. Okay, whatever. Fight me. Or not. I'm fine. And then there's a shiny thing over here. And what is that? Helioptile? A rare candy. Cool. Yeah, that looks like a Helioptile. Oh my gosh. We are totally running away from that girl so she doesn't see us. Pretty good. All right, Route 6, come on, man. Let's go. I need to battle you in my life, apparently. So there's no stopping this. What are you holding? A Pokemon is Art 2 if we both give it our all. What are you holding there? Is that a Pikachu? And you're crazy. Artist Duncan. Duncan Donuts, coughing. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Uh, I'm hoping I can do some work against coughing. Maybe I can beat him myself. Oh, he's poison. If I get hit by a poison attack, I'm super effectively weak against it, so we're not about to do that. What a crazy guy. And he's like, I'm in the middle of sculpting this Pikachu over here. Like, what's going on? Smoke screen. Nice. Predicting the switch. All right, deal. Coughing's bulky physically, so I need to do it my all right now. You guys know what happens when gas and fire mix, right? Boom, they explode. Send out Pseudo Wudo. I will stay in and beat up Pseudo Wudo. I don't like this guy. Like, at all. Pseudo Wudo. He's he's like abnormally hard to uh, to attack. And look at this guy. I missed my double kick on him. How does that work? Does double kick not have 100% accuracy? Why? Are you a ghost? What the heck? It's 100% accurate. Why am I missing it? Is he a ghost type? What am I missing here? It's the smoke screen that he did? Oh my gosh. Crit. Well, at least he survived on a, like a love focus sash. That was kind of cool. Miss. How did you not miss a single one of your rock slides? Stupid guy. I hate pseudo. Uh, who do I have that can do work against Pseudo? Oh, you, with your Rock Smash. You're a Rock type, right? Yeah, go. That's you believable, man. And you're gonna Sucker Punch me? Alright. Pseudo Wudo's a good Pokemon. He's very strong. Like, don't sleep on this guy. He's just annoying, and he looks like Ditto, so I don't like him. 
is abnormally hard to catch. Your moves are beautiful. Oh my. Well, you completely rocked my guy, literally. Congratulations, guy. Ah, that was nasty. All right, Um, I mean, we do have revives for a reason, so it's okay. I don't need to make my way all the way back to the Pokemon Center. We're fine. Ah, uh, yep, that's exactly who I wanted to eat that potion. <laughs> Good job. You recovered two HP with a super potion. Excellent work. All right, can I? Oh my. It's a shrine to Diglett. And here's the stadium. Great, right when I use my revives, perfect. All right, hey, it's a fighting gym. Uh, fighting gym? Mm, I don't know, man. Uh, I can't imagine what seeing the ruins feels like. Okay, so fighting gym, we need some like, either flying types. No, fighting types typically have like rock moves, right? I'm telling you, fairy would be really good right now. I'll take neutral damage against them, but I don't have a fairy move in sight. Uh, or, I can just use fire. What do you guys think? Do we have a Pokemon that's gonna do this work? I don't know, man. Okay, hey dude. Have a look at our bargains. What's your bargain? A focus band. Yeah, sure. 3,000 bucks, absolutely. Competitive item. It's not as good as a focus sash, but I'll have it for collector's sake. Thanks. Oh, you have more? Reaper Cloth. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna get a Reaper Cloth. Oh, he's gonna get it tomorrow, maybe. Dude, Reaper Cloth is good. Yeah, um... I'm buying a Rare Bone. Dude, I got a lot of them. Yeah, dude. Buy that for 11,000? Yeah. Thank you. Come back tomorrow. I might have more to offer. Okay, well, don't sell all your stuff, guys. Okay, so moral of the story is don't go selling all your star pieces and pearls until you actually uh, need to. Alright, well I'm not here to go poking in these people's houses. I can do that at the beginning of next episode. Let's go find this trainer. Abdallah. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you about before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? The only thing I could do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Okay. Let's do this. It'll be an all-out battle with my true rival to help me get my head on straight. Well, I'd like to see your team. Maybe we can see the final evolution of Grookey. I don't know. Cramorant? Do I have this? Oh, we have not seen him. I've seen the reveal trailer for this guy on the Pokemon channel. And he, like, spits out a fish or something and, like, you can eat it. I, that's the ugliest looking thing I've ever seen in my life, though. So we're about to go swagger on him. He's diving below. Uh-oh. I don't have a protect. I mean, that's just a water type move. I think I could take one. Uh, fake tears, sucker punch. I mean, I can't sucker punch him underground, so. Dive, dive, dive. Whoa, half health. Okay, okay. Get that swagger on in case you want to dive again. You have the potential of hitting yourself. Oh my gosh, hold on. So when you dive, you get a fish in your mouth? And you're gonna spit the fish out at me. Oh, this is cool. Absolutely real cool. He's fast. So I'm gonna sucker punch him. That's a good amount of damage. <laughs> Defense fell? I don't know how you were able to hit through that. Wait a second! Wait, you get a free move? Hold on, you're spitting out the fish is a free move? That's insane! Are you kidding me? That's so cool. I love this Pokemon. I love this guy. Or it's a counter. Oh, he- where did- oh! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! What the heck? How in the world do you have a Pikachu in your mouth? <laughs> Where did you get that from? <laughs> what the heck? Literally, what is going on with this Pokemon?
Oh my gosh. Wow, what a perfect counter. Oh my goodness. And I got staticked from the Pikachu that was flung at me. My goodness. So I guess it looks like he dives underwater. He gets some random thing, either a fish or a Pikachu. And then it's in your mouth the entire time. And then if you hit him with a physical attack, it's a counter. That's real cool, man. Where do I find one of those? I need one on my team now. That's so good. But dive is super predictable, so... Oh, you got one of these babies too? Did you visit the daycare and they pushed one off on you? That was, that was very exciting. I don't know where you're getting a Pikachu underwater though, but still cute. I need that Pokemon. Yeah, because I mean, Dive is very predictable. You can switch into a Pokemon that resists it, so like I wouldn't ever use him competitively, but he's very funny. That's very funny. They did not show that he can get a Pikachu in the reveal trailer at all. So, cool. All right, drum roll in the comments. Will we see uh, Hop's fully evolved Thwacky? Will we see his design? I kind of want to see it. Oh no, it's not. He's got a pretty decent team though. That uh, that little bird threw me for a loop, for sure. And now we just sweep his team with pyro balls. I haven't missed a single one yet. Big crit on it too. Ah, oh, hurt when you manage to land a crit like that one. Ah, uh, crit didn't matter, but it's still a fun time. That was really fun. Like, no joke, that was a really cool battle. Cause like, I was kinda getting like bored of some of these other battles, like these random trainers, like I don't really care about them. But that one, it got me right back into it. Strategy goes right to the pot uh, when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Well, thanks for the 5,000 bucks, kiddo. You'll be all right. Hmm, I tried switching my team members in and out. Um, in every matchup, but couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee is really the greatest trainer, and I want people to be laughing at him. All and I don't want people to be laughing at him because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I gotta try harder and harder. I'm off, mate, to find what kind of Pokemon I could uh, get some strength out of. Alright. <sighs> it's gonna be a fighting type gym, so... Whoa, hey, you okay? Don't you dare sneak up on me like that, you old lady. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. From 10 inches away from you. I, I don't care about these things. Now go on, child. You're headed out to the Stowside Gym next, though. Uh, yeah, the gym is about having fun. I'll race you there, old lady. Two steps. Two human steps per step up there. All right, are all my Pokemon healed? Come on, dude. At least how had the common decency to heal my Pokemon up afterwards, like... Let's go. Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one without a Fairy-type move. I really need this guy to learn a Fairy-type move, like, what's the deal? He's taking way too long. But, you know what, we can just use our Score Bunny, and if he's got five Pokemon, I just kick that rock at him five times, and we win, so... I'm fine. I could use Orbeetle, but Orbeetle... Oh, Orbeetle would be pretty cool. Psychic and Bug? Does he have any, um... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a good idea. Let's take a look. I will entertain that idea. Where the heck did he go? Ugh. Okay, Orbeetle, Orbeetle. Orbeetle, Orbeetle, Orbeetle. Orbeetle, Orbeetle, Orbeetle. I'm looking for a giant ladybug. Can you sort him? <laughs> I don't want to look anymore. I have too many Pokemon. Where? 
Oh, there you go. You look like Genesect. Thank you, Puffton. Uh, Bug and Psychic. Swarm. Reflect. Light Screen. Confusion. I'll put him on my team. Yeah, you know what? Come with me if you want to live. All right, let's go. Move. You're going to be better than this guy for sure. Uh, and Mickey, you're steel type, so that's not going to help. I do have the Zatu that I got too. Joey, 26. What's your summary? You got some... Uh, you're flying and you're psychic. Whoa, that's even better. Stored power? I mean, stored power doesn't do anything because it's 20 and I don't have anything to store power with. Nor do you have a flying type attack, so this is actually trash. All right, you know what? We're going to use Orbeetle. We'll have Orbeetle, Orbeetle on our team. And uh, let's just see what happens. Gigantamax Confusion. Watch out. I'm like, let me in. Don't tell me I have to go find the stupid guy. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, every time, man. Uh, give me a special Pokeball. What you got? A heavy ball. It's Ball Guy. Yeah, dude. He always puts a smile on my face. Ball Guy. Okay, thanks, bud. Nice shocked emote. All right, I'm going to apply to challenge the gym. I'm here. Then head to the changing room and change into your gym uniform. Just in time. Let's go. Fighting type. I got confusion. Go, number 026. How'd you know? I guess you can look. Guys, did you see that it was bald guy? <laughs> Ball guy, not bald guy. All right, here we go. Fighting Jim. Oh, we're playing pinball. Okay, uh, I guess. Or what is it, Kaplinko? What is it, Kachinko? Pachinko? Oh, we're going downhill? Okay. Allow me to explain the Jim's mission, Stow on Sides Jim. To complete this mission, you need to ride one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a little bit more about how, how to operate it. Rotate your control stick to the right and a couple spin to the right, rotate it to the left and spin to the left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quickly as you can to get yourself out of the stick situation. Now have, a, now have a good time watching the world spin around you as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin. Good luck. All right, thanks, champ and making. I guess I'm going to go, we're going to use our Orbeetle because we just recently evolved him. We're going to swap. We're going to go over here. Orbeetle should do something like this. I'm going to... Uh, we're gonna go swap held items. You're gonna take luck incense here and uh, Cinderace is going to I got some Oran berries. I think that's pretty good Or actually, you know, it's better than Oran berries. I've got a, a Charcoal that's gonna be a little bit better for him. So it's under other items. Uh, I got my charcoal somewhere Here we go. We're gonna give to a Pokemon. Here we go. And I think we're good. So or beetle is gonna be my ace in the hole and then if I need be then I'm going to bust out my uh, my little bunny. All right. Whoa. Wee. What is this? This is uh, interesting. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Can, I, can a guy just. Wee. I'm having so much fun in this gym challenge because it's so hard to do. Are you kidding me? Is there not a battle? Do I not get experience? Is it? Okay. GG's. Do I win? Oh, I do get a battle. Okay. Well, or beetle, let's go. You look pretty dizzy. Sure, you can battle in that condition. Whoa, it's Gym Trader Ian. Don't call me Ian. Alright, you got Stuffle. Stuffle's a fighting type. Guess what? I've got this beetle that looks like Genesect. Guess what? Confusion. Oh, dang. I could bust out a Reflect, too. Oh, I got an idea. I have a great idea. I could equip him with Light Clay. I should equip him with Light Clay, and then he's got Light Screen and Reflect. That's gonna be so much better. All right, all right, when we get to the boss, remind me, guys. I'm gonna equip him with that Light Clay. I'm gonna bust out a Reflect, because a majority of Fighting-type Pokemon use physical attack stat, so we'll be set. And then we just uh, proceed to Confuse. Con proceed to Confuse. All right, so Jolterion wants to try this Dark Pulse. His special attack is very strong, so False Surrender versus Dark Pulse. Hmm. Fake Tears is lame, so let's do that.
Okay, beware of the beware. Uh, we are going to stay in. Uh, this beware probably has like a rock move or something that I'm gonna get crushed with, but we'll, we'll try him. He's very strong, I'm gonna do, put up that reflect right now. Now fight me. Brutal swing, dark type? Whoa, super effective, excuse me, why, why? What typing am I? Oh, cause I'm psychic, deal, okay. I see. <laughs> Luckily I put up that reflect though. Hit him, hit him, D hit him. That's a min max two hit KO, come on man. Come on, I need this max damage roll, please. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, you know, I like this little bug. I do, a lot. I really do, Orbeetle is real cool. I'm dizzy, no, completely dazzled. What an incredible battle, thanks for the 6,000 bucks. All right, cool, man. Good music. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna use my lemonades. I bought a couple of them, here you go, enjoy. I should have stocked up on potions. I really don't have many. Okay, three, two, one, rotate! Whoa, watch out for the little mitts because the mitts will push you all up. Dang it, okay. That's RNG. All right, come on, come on, punch me, punch me. Can you just get in there? We, yeah, make my way up. We. We it's like the spinning teacups at like uh, Six Flags. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, let's go. I won't equip the light clay just yet. I'll do it right before the boss because I still want to make this money. Far fetched is a fighting type in the Galar region. So, here comes that big reflect for five turns. Even though, like, my confusion will probably be a two-hit KO on him. He still has Brutal Swing. It's a Dark-type move. It's good to have. Especially if you're a Fighting-type. Absolutely. Yeah, it would have been a two-hit KO anyway. I just mitigated some of the damage. Yeah. Good job, Sir Fetched. Not yet. Not yet, Sir Fetched. Here we go. Orbeetle leveling up. What a good Pokemon. Dude, Orbeetle though? Alright, sorry, Claire. Thanks for the money though. I could jam out to that ending music all the time. This is so good. Alright, here we go. I'm fine. Let's go. Ready, go. Punch me down. Yeah! Okay, that's kind of cool. I guess I'm going this way. What do you mean? Well, it's a baby punch versus a big punch. Okay, so it's kind of puzzly. A little puzzly. Gotta try again. Big punch! And now I gotta go diagonal. Whoa, look at that. Clink, clink. Yes. Okay, that was something. Is this the boss? Oh, the boss is almost here. We got one more battle. All right. Our job is to defeat all the reckless gym leaders or gym challengers. All right, gym trainer Simon. Simon, no more brutal swings, okay? Hitmonlee, can you learn any dark moves? Maybe? I would, I would love it if there was a Galarian Hitmonlee. That would be so cool. But that's not the case. Doesn't seem that way. Revenge. Dark? No. <laughs> oh gosh, no. Of course not. Uh, anyway, here's a little bit of confusion. Sorry, Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee's special defense isn't that great, right? That's a three-hit KO. No. Revenge, and that's gonna hurt even more, a little bit. Not very effective, because it's fighting, and a bug resists fighting, 
And so does Psychic, so like all of your same type attack bonus is out the window, Hitmonlee. See, Hitmonlee can learn Rock Slide, can't he? I'll watch you have Hitmonchan too. Hitmonchan with a fire punch coming right out my mouth. Here it comes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, very predictable. All right, all right, that's fine, it's fine. I'll take on Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan can have Rock Slide, he can have Fire Punch, but we still have two turns of Reflect, so we're fine. Bullet Punch, Steel type? Okay. Yeah, still another three hit KO. All right, well, there's my Reflect. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put the Reflect on. At least he's using priority, which is pretty good. So, like, I like Bullet Punch. It's a good move. But, like, this confusion is not good. It's like baby Psychic attacks. Like, I need, like, a Psy Beam or maybe Psychic, but... And I don't know what Struggle Bug does. What does this do? Uh, this lowers the special attacks of those hit. While resisting, the user attacks the opposing Pokemon. Hmm. It's okay. That's all he does, man. Okay, easy peasy. Here we go, ladies and gents. It's the moment we've been waiting for. It's the moment we've been waiting for. I'm gonna do two things. And I need, to, I need you guys to watch what I'm going to do here. Check this out. We're going to go swap held items. We're going to go this. Charcoal. You can hold on to it. It doesn't matter. Um, I need to do this. Bag. We're going to go light clay. Other items. Light clay, light clay, light clay. Where is it? Here we go. Light clay. Give to a Pokemon or beetle. Great. Good job. We're going to do this. Lemonade. Here we go. Drink it up. Yummy. All right. Beautifully done. And then we are going to do this. Oops. Check this out. Pokemon. Uh, Cinderachi. I'm gonna go over here. Here. Yep. And Orbeetle's got the light clay. Yeah. Got it. Watch. Check this out. All right. Hype in the chat. Let's go. I got a cool plan in mind. We did it. The gym mission's cleared. Hey guys, it's me. I got a new haircut. All right. I got a plan. I got a plan in motion. Here it comes. Yeah. Fighting type. I don't know. Oh my. Hold on. That's who you are. The fighting type gym leader? How come I didn't get in? How come I didn't meet you before? B. Bia. Uh, do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you're attacked? I think I'll just test that all out, shall I? Like, I would have liked to have seen her prior to the battle, other than, like, at our first time in the in the stadium. But, I, I mean... Alright, whatever. What's up, B? What's up, you big B? Alright. B, don't call me Bay. Alright, so... You might have the ability to... Um, yeah, this is, uh, interesting. She might have the ability to rock slide with this Pokemon. I could just sweep this team. I don't need to use my bug Pokemon. You realize this, right? <laughs> I mean, I could... Mmm, wow. Alright, what do you guys think? Should we use our little bug Pokemon or should we just like Cinderace this guy? Pangoro. I got a fighting type move for him. He's dark fighting. Dark fighting, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch yet. Mold breaker. Cool. Well enjoy another one of these guys. Right in the field, too. Boom! Oh, you punk. 
If you use counter, that would have been devastating. Uh, I guess I get quick attack, yeah. Just in case he's got something cheeky that he wants to do, I'll do a little bit of priority and knock him out. Alright, Orbeetle wants to learn Mirror Coat. Hmm, yeah, sure. I'm not ever going to use Struggle Bug, but here's a Mirror Coat. Or maybe I should keep Struggle Bug, because it's a bug type. I don't need Mirror Coat. No, I don't need it. I'm fine. Surfetched. Uh, Surfetched is what? Steel? Steel fighting? I don't know what the heck Surfetched is. This is my first time actually seeing him in this game. Oh, dang. That guy's cool looking. Well, guess what? It's over. Oh, man. You're stalling out my power points, guy. a good strat. Too bad. That's not super effective. You're not a steel type. And you just sword stanced up? A little scary. You kind of look like you're a grass type and a steel type, right? But maybe you're just straight uh, fighting, so that's going to be interesting. I'm going to go quick attack because I don't know what kind of priority this guy's using. So, we're just gonna kick him out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we Gigantamax. Machamp! Yes, I'm gonna do it. Here we go, Machamp! Typically can learn Rock Slide. This is going to be a Dynamax Machamp? Oh my gosh, it's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Oh my gosh, is Dynam Dynamax Machamp going to grow extra arms? Max Guard? Oh, Max Guard is just Protect. That's actually pretty lame. I didn't get my Reflect in. I don't know if I should go Reflect now. Yeah, I'm going to go Reflect now and then we're going to Dynamax. Oh, I don't know if that's a good move. Oh, I'm going to try it. I don't know if my small tiny bug can take... Whoa! What? A completely new model? All right, well, let's hope this reflect helps, buddy. Max Darkness! Ha 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 ha! How in the world? Oh my gosh, well, um, that's something. I may need to sack this guy. Well, um, yeah, uh, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Max Darkness, eh? This isn't going to do anything. Switching to that guy. I mean... That took half health. I could Gigantamax. Yeah, yeah, I can. Watch. You know what? I'm not backing down from this fight. Not backing down. Let's go, big boy. If I'm at half health right now, that means I could take another one, provided min max damage. If it doesn't work, then I got another ace up my sleeve. We're okay. Me first. Max Mindstorm. That's not a lot of damage. But we made the Psychic Arena now. Battlefield got weird. Alright, I gotta survive this with 1 HP. Dead? I'm still alive, baby. Watch this.
And then now you're gonna shrink down to nothing. Because I use protect. Yeah, now what, you little machamp? Now what? Come here. Oh, who's the big boy now, huh? The tables have turned. KO, please. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, man. Woo, stick with the original plan, man. Don't overthink it. Yeah, dude. That was awesome. Way to go, Orbeetle. Oh, man. We stalled out his Dynamax turns with uh, the max protection or whatever. And we flipping rocked the kid. Paying attention to min-max damage. Did a little bit of reflect. All right. There we go. Way to go, kiddo. Yeah, you better tighten that, girl. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in battle. All right, 11,000. And we still earned double money, too. So that was amazing. Oh, and we got an evolution over here? Yeah, count me in. Let's go. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is evolving. To who? Oh, we've never seen this before. It's going to be a big elephant? Okay. It doesn't really look like a steel type. What the heck is that? Copperaja? Copperaja. Someone, tell me the culture behind this. Raja is uh, maybe, I, I don't know. They came from another region long ago. Uh, worked with, green skin is resi resistant to water. Copper Raja, is that like a, I don't know, heavy slam, cool. Heavy slam is a perfect move for him, by the way. All right, Copper Raja, Copper Raja, Copper Raja. Copper Raja, Copper Raja, Copper Raja. I was thinking like something Indian. Um... But wasn't, like, the tiger named Raja in that, like, Disney movie or whatever? <laughs> Alright, cool, man. Thank you for the battle. Whew, facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. You're pretty tall. Oh, it looks like a fist, too. Now you can catch Pokemon up to level 40. That's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Yay! Round of applause emojis, guys. Congratulations on defeating Leader B. Take this TM. TM42, Revenge. Alright, I mean, it's, it's a d decent move. It's okay. I still want close combat, man. Okay, still want close combat. Uh, 42? Excellent. This attack move uh, moves double in power if you've been hurt in the same turn. Okay. And take one of our fighting gym uniforms. Hey, super cool. Fighting badge suits you. All right. Yes, it does. And so does that new haircut. Yeah, boy. All right, ladies and gents, that's it. That's it for the episode. Wow, super cool, yeah? Dude, that little bug. That little bug. The strategy. I'm so proud of that little bug. What the heck's that little bug's name? Uh, Orbeetle. Yeah, dude, that little bug did really good work, man. Okay, super fun. Uh, you know, Cinderace totally, like, knocked them all out at the beginning with his signature move, which is great. And then Orbeetle, you know what? He's not the strongest, but we showed that with a little bit of strategy, you can overcome anything. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, we're going to do another one in the next half an hour. I'm going to go try to get up and stretch a little bit. So don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. I see all of you guys right now jonesing to exit the tab or to close your phone. Don't. Open up the chat right now. Click on this link over here. There's a link. I just put it in the chat. And uh, you guys can absolutely come on board with the next episode. All right, so let's start gunning on over there. It was an amazing battle. A very cool level too, might I add. Uh, so let's take a look, ready here. Full scene. This is it, in about 30 minutes. Yeah, in less than 30 minutes, we're gonna get the next episode up. So I want you guys to be there. All of you guys in the comments, like Bentley and Ultraman and Robert and Puffton and Rock and Fox and Jay McLean and Patrick, Anime, Ichigo, uh, Random, Nebby, Do Everything, uh, New Age, Judgmental, Timothy Lee, all of you guys, come on over here, hang out for a little bit, get something to eat, have a little break in between sessions, and we got another two hour live stream that we're gonna do after this. Will we find another gym leader? I don't know. I don't really know how the game works out. We're playing this completely blind. 
So all of you guys, thank you so much, truly. Uh, we had three new members come on board, which was amazing. You guys are helping us reach our goals of getting even more emotes. And uh, as you guys can see, we do indeed have a brand new emote in the form of the Premier Ball. We got it. Hey, congratulations to you guys. So 350 is the next one. We're going to do probably like a score bunny emote or something, something Pokemon related, maybe like sword and shield, something, but I'm up to you. It's up to you guys on what kind of design you want. I just threw score bunny on there just for the heck of it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to go over to our uh, comment question of the day, right? I talked to you guys about this at the beginning of the episode. We are doing a giveaway. Uh, Nintendo hooked us up with a couple codes for the game. So we will absolutely give that away to you guys when we're done with the series. So when we're done with that, I'll randomly pick a video in the playlist, then I'll randomly pick a comment that answers the comment question of the day. Drum roll, please, here we go, boom. Okay, what did you enjoy most about our fourth gym leader and why? Did you like her fighting spirit? Did you like the alternate form of Machamp that I've never seen in my life and that was a pleasant surprise? You guys let me know, you guys let me know, okay? Let me know once the video loads up as an actual VOD, uh, or else if you just type it into this um, live stream chat, it's not gonna work, so. Thanks for being here, thanks for subscribing, thanks for turning on notifications. I'll see you guys in about a half an hour. I'm gonna go stretch, walk around a little bit, get some water, and uh, we'll be ready. We will absolutely be ready. I thought this episode was so much fun, man. That bug though, dude, that bug did work. We had a strategy, we used the light clay, reflect, we stalled out one of his turns, and then we crushed the baby Machamp with a huge psychic attack. It was so much fun. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah, join me in that next one. It'll be super cool. Take care.